We have just visited Bryce Canyon National Park, and now we are on our way out and headed to Zion National Park. For this quick visit to Zion, we will be taking one of the park's most famous hikes, the Narrows. Since we are coming from Bryce Canyon, we'll get to enter the park through the east entrance. This is an excellent way to enter the park, especially if it's your first time visiting. We'll gradually enter through the red rocks of the scenic Zion Mount Carmel Highway. The other perk of going through the east entrance is the sudden grand views of the main canyon upon driving through the tunnel. Since it's pretty late in the day, we will drive straight through the park, but we will make one stop right outside of the park in the town of Springdale. We are picking up our gear for the Narrows hike at Zion Outfitters where we had reserved our equipment ahead of time. Now we will head to our hotel in Hurricane, Utah, which is about 30 minutes away. It's significantly cheaper to stay here during peak season compared to Springdale right beside the park. Okay, we got to our hotel and it's like this really nice looking lodgy place, but then like look at the logo of the hotel. <laughs> My place. And it makes me think of McDonald's Play Place. Red, yellow. It just doesn't match. I need to tone it down. Okay, so my place is basically a studio apartment. I have a full-size fridge or freezer, kitchen, stove. I mean, I guess there's no dishes. Get your bathroom. Okay, honestly, this is, uh, my place is pretty nice. I'm really tired. I've been up since 1 a.m. Eastern time. Hey, go balls. We play Alabama tomorrow and I hope we win. If we don't, nothing new. Okay, we came out to my place pool. I'm not swimming. McDonald's heading to Zion at 6 a.m. We should get there in about 30 minutes. It actually took us about 45 minutes. I accidentally selected the Kolob Canyon entrance on the map and it took me a minute to realize that we weren't going in the right direction. Be sure to select the visitor center in Springdale in your navigation system if you want to go to the main visitor center. As a note, if you want to get to the Narrows during peak season, you will need to go here as it's only accessible by shuttle. Okay, we made it. It literally had a lot full sign and it scared me, but there's quite a bit of parking. Okay, putting on my Narrows gear, got my uh, sock. It's unlike any other sock I've ever worn. It's really hard to put on. The shuttle line is not so bad today. As a reference, this is in mid-October of 2022. When going into the canyon, I recommend sitting on the left side of the bus if possible for the best views. Big call when you see over there with the big red crown on the top, that's the West Tower. It's, uh, it measures about 7,810 feet tall.
there's going to be a lot of hikers hiking up and down that rim. All the people getting off to go do this, huh? Before we can get to the narrowest part of the hike, we must first walk about a mile down Zion Narrows Riverside Walk Trail. Even if you aren't hiking the Narrows, this is a really nice paved and often shaded trail. At the particular time we visited, again, mid-October, you can see that, especially near the beginning of the hike, there's still a lot of dry ground to walk on. The trees got washed up. This must be where they stop. I don't know if you can tell by the quality of the video, but it's actually quite dark and shaded at the bottom of the canyon, which is definitely nice for some of the hotter days. Special shoes, neoprene socks, and hiking stick are extremely helpful for navigating through the water and rocks. Most people had this equipment, but I did see quite a few people who were just wearing the regular tennis shoes. I'd say it's totally doable during the low water season, especially if you have good balance, but I still would recommend renting the gear if you can. It was $32 to rent the gear that we needed, and I stayed comfortable and blister-free the entire time.
Can you imagine water levels getting that high? Now that you can see where it has been. Oh yeah. Okay, we just finished lunch, and now we're continuing back out of the canyon, or the narrow part of the canyon. back to the beginning of the Narrows. We still have the narrow side trail, but definitely a top three hike. I thought I was gonna wanna change shoes, but like these are actually really comfortable. Oh, I will. I always love a good raised map at a national park visitor center. Okay, we got back to the car, we got internet, and Tennessee is, I don't wanna say it, I don't wanna say it, <laughs> but I'm really excited right now. Um, taking a break from watching the game and going to take off my neoprene socks. <sighs> Pretty. I feel good now that I took off those Shoes, although they were very comfortable. We're getting ready to leave, return our equipment, and the uh, score of the football game is currently 20 to 7 Tennessee in the first quarter. So, yes. After a quick and easy equipment return, we're now heading out of the Zion area towards Nevada. We will be visiting the Valley of Fire State Park the next day for sunrise, so we will be staying close by in Overton, Nevada. As I've mentioned in every single Zion video I've ever posted, this is my absolute most favorite stretch of U.S. interstate called the Virgin River Gorge on I-15. I'd also like to mention that throughout this drive, we are frustratingly watching the Tennessee-Alabama game. Hello. Welcome to Nevada. Thank you. We were starving and craving Mexican food, so we stopped at a little restaurant called Los Lupes in Mesquite, Nevada. Would you get taquitos? Yes. Yes. We're staying at the North Shore Inn. Here's a quick glimpse of the room at the North Shore Inn if you ever find yourself needing to stay here. 
This video clip actually time travels a bit into the next morning. That's why the bed is unmade and I'm wearing a different outfit, so just ignore that. We're at our private pool and hot tub at the North Shore Inn. And the Vols won. The Vols beat Alabama. We are 6-0. Alabama is six and one. They're six and one. And Chase McGrath. Chase McGrath. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs>